this is interesting, not the first time you've had to grapple with sort of high concept science problems. No, I had some training, much like my character in the movie. I had some yes, training in my child. early life, uh, but this kind of training was training in the, you know, making sixth grade math and science students suffer through belabored explanation of math and science concepts on a child's TV show. Because we didn't get this, I don't think we got it here, called Voyage of the Mimi. And how old were you when you presented Voyage of the Mimi? Uh, well, I did it over a period of time, and I'm not sure which clips you have. There's somewhere I'm 10 and somewhere I'm 13. Okay, I think this might be a later. This is just. This oh, is, there was somewhere I was even 14, actually, when I came to England. I was oh, a then, bit well, then you might yeah, be 14 yeah, in this yeah. one, because this is in England. This is just to give you a taste of Voyage of the Mimi. Hi, I'm Ben Affleck. Archaeologists, like the ones in the second voyage of the Mimi, are a lot like detectives, but their clues are hundreds, even thousands of years old, and they can never really be sure if they've solved their mysteries, you know, never really know what was happening back in the past. Well, there's a man here, 60 miles southwest of London, England, who's doing some archaeology that might help provide some new clues for some old mysteries. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Stay <laughs> relaxed. You know how to set up a story. You just, looked, you just looked really relaxed. Those jeans said, hands in pockets. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you get a laugh just on saying, I'm Ben Affleck. <laughs> <laughs> No, I was a very gangly young man who uh, came to England and, and was, there was a documentary, I think, about Greenwich Mean Time. And uh, I had never been to England before. I was all excited about the time difference. It was a big thrill. I didn't, nobody made me go see the changing of the gardens. <laughs> and, now, when you were talking, obviously, you're a very bright man. Did you understand what they were saying to you? No, it was the case of, it was the same kind of thing as, as, as what you described, but like, and this was real science, you know what I mean? It actually did make sense, <laughs> but I, it was totally beyond me. I had no idea, yeah. and I, they worked me to the bone, so I was half asleep all the time, and it would get to my reaction shots at the end of the day, you know, and I was just kind of going like, yeah, yeah you know. Was, yeah, was, you, was, you are a very good actor, but I have to say, you do seem a little unengaged <laughs> in some of your listening shots. We just put together a few, a, a select, and also, so, so, <laughs> there are two things to enjoy here. It's Ben Affleck's unengaged listening face, mm -hmm. and the experts who, I don't know who you are experts, but you are amazing. <laughs> I'm not really involved with the physics of these machines. My job is to design these, these big magnetic devices. So those oscillations in skin temperature represent turning on sweating, evaporative cooling, turning off sweating, waiting until the skin temperature gets hot again, and then it cycles. What happens to us here in the stone yard then is to actually t follow the life of one stone in particular right the way from the quarry as we get it here in the rough block. Other animals pant, uh, breathing rapidly over their tongue and mucous membranes. They get evaporative cooling there and some through the foot pads. There's a little bit of temperature uh, heat exchange through the foot pads, but mostly panting. <laughs> You that, did well. That is my... I still use that face. Come in. That look is all over Pearl Harbor. <laughs> <laughs> but with those experts, your face should have been just like... It's like a look of horror. Like, who has left me alone in a room with this man? Like, there were the sensitivities, the things that were appropriate and not appropriate for children. How about if he sweats, takes all his clothes off, and you guys do a scene? <laughs> It's okay, he's wired up. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be fine. You can tell if his pulse goes up. <laughs> Graham Norton here. If you'd like to see even more stuff like that, then hit subscribe. <laughs> or don't, it's a free world. But I know what I'd do in that situation. <laughs>